Well, Stella by Starlight is another classic jazz piece that uh, many people have played. There are many wonderful and beautiful versions of the piece. Uh, as a little bit of uh, history, the song was initially uh, written for an old movie called The Uninvited and is played very, very slowly in that movie. It's very haunting. Uh, but, you know, the tune is uh, just a great tune and it takes you through a lot of different changes. Uh, it is 32 bars, but it doesn't follow a typical AAB form. It has really two different sections of the piece, more like an AB, 16 bars each. So here's the first 16 bars. Uh, the song is in the key of B flat major. So we start here with uh, E minor 7 flat 5, A7, as if we were doing a 2 5 to the 3 chord of B flat, which would be D minor. But the composer, in this case, does not go. He goes, it goes to a C minor. So then we have, so it starts on E half diminished to A7, then to C minor, F7, which is a 2 5 in B flat. And then we have a 2 5 1 to E flat, or a 2 5 to the 4 chord, which would be F minor 7, B flat 7 to E flat. And then we go to the flat 7 dominant of B. Of, uh, B flat major, which is an A flat seven. Flat seven dominant is an interesting chord, and I'll talk, uh, I'll explain some more ideas uh, about what you can do with this during the breakdown after I solo. Uh, then we come back to the one chord, uh, B flat, and then we, ha we do have a two, five, one to D minor, and D minor is the three chord of B flat major. And then I have a little turnaround here, a two, five, um, in A flat major, but it leads to the F major. And then we have a 2 5, E minor 7 flat 5, A7, leading to another 2 5, A minor 7 flat 5, D7, which is the 2 5 of G. Now, G would be the sixth chord of B flat, except in this case, it's a G dominant. And it's not just a dominant, it's a dominant sharp 5. Okay, and that leads to the two chord, which is C minor. And then we come back to the flat seven dominant again, A flat seven, the flat five, then come back home to B flat major. And then we have a series of two fives that the first uh, of the two two fives does not resolve to a one. So we've got E minor seven flat five, A seven. Then we have moved down a whole step, D minor seven flat five, G seven. And then we move down again, this time C minor 7 flat 5, F7, and in this case we go to the one chord finally, uh, the, back to the B flat major. So there's a, there's a lot, one of the reasons jazz musicians particularly love this tune is that it's very, uh, it's very rich harmonically. There's a lot of different, you know, you heard as I was just talking about the basic harmonic structure, there's a lot of keys in the song, there's a lot of movement. And that gives you a chance to use, to really dig into your, um, you know, harmonic palette and pull out some really nice colors. So uh, let's see what we get. <laughs> 